Hi, I'm Min from Ponder the Education. Ponder the Education is a consultant, education consultant and education provider. I actually provide classes for the students to develop thinking processes. Thinking processes is a little bit different from knowledge and the skills that they do for the jobs. It is the different types of the process of the thinking, which I'm probably going to talk about it uh, deal with it and later in this uh, the video. Now uh, I used to upload this English version of the the study methods uh, in uh, my Korean version. It's uh, mixed up in there, but uh, I start. Uh, I decided to separate it. Originally, it was separated. It was in different cut uh, the account for the YouTube channel, but I kind of merged the try to merge the English version uh, together with the Korean version but uh, Korean version is too many and then now English version is uh, difficult to find so I decided to separate it again and then uh, I will upload this uh, uh, English version uh, the, the YouTube uh, videos in, uh, in the regularly in the future in English version for now, this version will be on the both in Korean and English. Not, uh, the, but gradually, uh, in the future, that uh, this English version will be on only in English channel. Okay, so now this uh, uh, the uh, probably in like about a couple of years, you know, uh, about a year that uh, uh, this is the first video in about a year that uh, I am loading it at this moment. And the title that I made was this, is university education worth the cost? It's a lot of uh, uh, money, right? Especially when you go to the uh, SFU, UBC, UT, and McGill, this university really demands a lot of uh, tuition. It's very expensive, right? So, but the problem is that even with this high cost that you when you will probably find that many students struggling finding a job after the graduation after they are uh, done with the university they have uh, they are many of them are struggling to find a job so i found many students who before even graduating from the uh, uh, the university level then what they do is they kind of transfer to BCIT or some uh, related job related uh, the college all right so and then I even see that the BCIT they uh, advertising that uh, I believe is over 95 percent I think if I'm correct it is 98 percent that they posted an advertisement that they did so 90 percent of the graduation Stu uh, the students graduated is from BCIT they get a job so basically that's what uh, the current situation is then if you graduate from the university like uh, the UBC SFU and then you don't get a job then versus compared to BCIT after graduating you get a job and uh, 90, you have 98% chances to get a job which one is worth Right, so in this kind of comparison, you might think that the, oh, the university education might not for me. I don't know. That that doesn't look uh, like uh, I wanted to have because it costs a lot. It, it demands a lot of money, and I have to support. I mean, my parents have to support me, or I have to work at the same time, and then even. For the part-time job, I don't get enough money, and then to uh, pro, uh, the pay the uh, tuition, right? Especially if you are from uh, outside of the Canada, probably this uh, university uh, education is a lot more uh, the costly for you because that the international students will have to pay a lot more than uh, the domestic students, right? And in addition, let me remove this and let me show you one newspaper. This is actually from New York Times. 
and you can see that students were failing organic chemistry who was and then uh some of the students were about 40 percent so 80 uh 82 of uh, 33 50 students that uh, signed petition to remove him and then he got fired the chemistry professor got fired and then this chemistry professor according to this uh, uh, article was uh, uh, had published many papers which i don't know where it is uh nope it's not it should be here somewhere yeah he even wrote a book published a book and he published many papers and she was a really uh, a well-known scientist right but he got fired because the students were not happy about the his uh, uh, the grade that the, the professor gave and you know in this article there's one interesting point that the actual professor said what he said was that the, he moved away from teaching knowledge and skills well actually the uh, test and then what he did is he uh, they made the test as the, uh, the focusing on the thinking processes and students are failing what does this mean thinking process is a lot more difficult compared to learning knowledge and skill right then why is this happening why the university that students are failing and then they demand uh, the higher grade from the professors the reason is because they want to get a job or in the future in this article that the uh, uh what the articles the, the article that I just put up in the New York Times one that what is the explanation of the students the petition was because that the, some of the students wanted to go to the uh, uh, the medical school but medical school demands a lot like a higher uh, GPA or probably straight A's so because of that and then because they got the lower grade and then they uh, cannot have chances to go to the medical ch medical school what well, chances are lower now because of the uh, lower grade from this professor and that's why they uh, signed the petition according to the article now what does this mean in case of a BCIT something like a BCIT BCIT if you are living in a uh, BC right here in the British Columbia then BCIT is the one that they are providing education for students to learn skills and knowledge knowledge and skills for jobs right then in terms of the bcit because they are successful and then over 95 percent of the students who were getting uh, the, the could get a job easily now they are really successful and they meet the goal of the education so they for them education is really worth and if you go this uh, uh, type of the university colleges where they uh, focus on the uh, skills and knowledge that for the jobs and then uh, then it is worth it right yeah think and then you pay the tuition and you get a job in the future so basically it matches what you are looking for then why not these universities why not the uh, UBC SFU or McGill or these universities why because they don't they are not really focusing on the knowledge and skills well in these days because of the demands of the students they do focus on knowledge and skills for the jobs but overall their goal is not 
focusing on the knowledge and skill. Then what are they focusing on? Right here. Just like what the uh, uh, New York NYU professor who got fired had focused on. And as the, uh, the, the professor of the NYU who got fired was uh, said that, that he moved from knowledge and skills to just a simple memorization, memorizing these, he added thinking processes to, for the students to actually develop. Now, many students are failing. What does this mean? Thinking process is very difficult. Right? It means that thinking process is very difficult. So when students were given challenges that, that they have to use uh, their brain to uh, think about to solve the problem, it is not doable. And this one, probably this is uh, probably the one that the students are focusing on knowledge and skills. You might think that, the, well, it is natural. Knowledge and skills are easier to deal with it, right? You just go to the uh, uh, lecture and then you take uh, note down, uh, the take a note of what the uh, lecture deals with and then you memorize it and you can take a test and then you get score. So it is simple and straightforward. You don't have to work more. Well, you, you memorize, you have to deal with those. But thinking processes, it takes really longer process because you have to provide the logical reason, the logical answers, the logical connection, logic reasonings. Many think that the reasoning and logical thinking is easy and simple, but it's not. And one example is that the one of the professor who teaches logical thinking and uh, uh, Actually, logical thinking in terms of critical thinking, as you uh, you probably heard about a lot of uh, this, is the professor in Harvard University. So let me see, Harvard uh, Michael Sandel. Yeah. So this is a, a professor that the who teaches you can watch this youtube uh, uh the lecture this is actually it seems to be uh actual lecture from harvard and then harvard is open it up because they see the way that the, he teaches is really valuable now if you watch it, then you will probably find that the, what he does is as simple as just uh, putting the students into the debate. So having students into the, uh, uh, bring up the opinion and then ask them to provide the reasonings and why. And then students have to think about their own ideas about the way the reasonings provide. And then professor just simply ask back with the uh, different reasonings and then uh, cases and then students really engage and try to provide some of their own thoughts reasonably. And as the Harvard University proudly posts these lectures on the YouTube, it means in the entire world, there's only a few uh, professors who are able to teach in this way, right? And the reason is because that the, uh, or when students were taught in this way, many students will fail in the test, just like what this article said. The professor in this article said that the, he kind of moved from, moved away from the uh, uh, simple memorization to real testing the thinking processes, logical thinking, critical thinking. And then students were failing. Many students will fail. Now, this is where the actual the dilemma of the education, university education. Okay. University education, the reason is simple. This is logical thinking or 
呃，第第呃 ，critical thinking。There are not many people who can teach this. In turn, in my life, I'm、uh, over fifty now. In the fifty-four, probably fifty-four, mid fifty now.、Uh, I don't remember how old I am, but over fifty years, in turn, my career, my life, I only saw one person who teaches this. That is Michael Sandel. That I showed you in earlier in Harvard, or the well, at least the、uh, NYU professor claims that the, he moved from、uh, memorization to logical thinking or critical thinking. Thinking process required tests. At least that that the, he probably、uh, well, I don't think he really taught the critical thinking just like what. Uh, the Michael Sandel did, even though he is able to、uh, deal with this、uh, logical thinking and critical thinking, but at least for him, he can, he might be able to do it by himself. But he, I don't think he is capable of teaching critical thinking or logical thinking just uh, like uh, uh, Michael Sandel. Okay, so here's the one thing that、uh, you will need to think about in the university. Actually, it is designed to teach critical thinking or critical thinking or thinking processes, but they are not able to do it. The reason is this: critical thinking and the thinking processes, the logical thinking, they heavily dealt in the graduation graduate school level. Okay, graduate school level. They wear the master degrees and PhD degrees. Students are、uh, going, and the professors that the, who are doing the research, they are the one that are doing this because this thinking are the thinking to find or create new knowledge, skills. So what they do is they do the research to find something new phenomena, or to find something、uh, new. Uh, the not just a finding to find something new. What they do sometimes they have to create something new tools, right? Like in in long time ago that the centrifuge machines that actually accelerated chemistry、uh, development. And then microscope accelerated the biology field, and something like this. They develop new machines or new technology. They find and create new knowledge. That's what they do. So university, the original, the, their goal is to develop this, not just simply teach knowledge and skills for the job. Knowledge for the skills, uh, the knowledge and skills for the jobs is known. Right, so you learned how to care patients in a nursing course, and then you learn how to build the the、uh, buildings. These are already known, so you learn something that is already known, and you learn the skills, you learn the knowledge that required for the jobs. But in the college, you don't learn how to find and or create a new. Knowledge, so university originally designed for this, but because there's no, not many professors are able to teaching, able to teach how to think critically, how to th develop thinking processes, how to think logically. Because of that, what happens? They kind of try to provide service. Was the the customer satisfaction by providing education for the knowledge and skills for the jobs? So universities. This is what I heard from、uh, one of my colleagues,、uh, my friend who taught at the university and SFU. And now I believe he teaches in SFU only. But 
for him for according to him he when he once he told me that all these teaching now in these days are turning into customer service that's like what nyu right and then that's what he was uh, uh complaining about about the ubc because and uh, the, the the ubc the department chair asked uh, uh the him to kind of raise up because his uh, grade uh, the, the grade that he's giving to the students is a little bit lower so raise up so that the students can be happy and then they can use this uh, uh, the, the higher grade for to find a job basically university by themselves they kind of like a, uh, uh, they made themselves they grade downgraded themselves into the education because when the students are applying for their uh, universities. When they see that they uh, graduate, grad, uh, the students who uh, are done with the university, and then how many are getting a job, that's the kind of their uh, judgment that they decide which university to go. This is it's not my story, okay? Because the same article in New York Times, in the middle of it, that this, if you want, you can read about it. Then in the middle of it, there's a, uh, I think a colleague professor actually said it in the media, saying that university wants, NYU wants more applicants so that they can raise their ranks. And because of that, they want these students to uh, get higher grades so that they can, when they find uh, place where they go in this case probably medical school or jobs then that will attract more students to come in so more students for the university more students uh, applies then it will make this university famous and then university name value goes up so basically rank goes up and because of that university NYU fired this uh, professor even though the professor is teach uh, professors teaching doesn't have any issues that's what the uh, the article the professor implied it, it not exactly what i said but, right but the, it, the implication that after reading the article is uh the, the something like that from my viewpoint okay so basically universities are designed to have the researches So because of this, you will see many universities are having researchers in it, and then they bring a lot of funding for the research, and that's what happens in there, right? But even with the university, with the research uh, professors are there, problem is they can only provide this education for the graduate school level master's or PhD level. They cannot really handle all the undergraduate students, but still they charge a lot of money for the education. And by saying this, now you can see in this way, any uh, universities teaching for teaching only, so basically teaching focus the universities, meaning that because they don't have any researches or anything, this means that these universities are just like a high school, secondary school. Why? Because even UBC, SFU, only graduate student level, graduate school level, they are able to really teach how to, well, they are not really develop uh, the teaching, how to developing critical thinking, but they, can provide the environment or like a research opportunities and try to think that the, to find the new knowledge and get the new uh the find the new phenomena to write up the paper or something like that and how to write paper that's done in the uh, uh graduate level graduate school level so basically teaching focus to the university is high school level secondary school level it's not the university level the reason is, you might say, uh, some, some of you might say that, well, still, there could be some professors who can teach thinking processes and to think for the student to think 
for the uh, uh, critical thinking. Yes, they might be, but chances is a very, very low. And then think about it. Harvard proudly hosts the, the Michael Sanders, Professor Michael Sanders, the, uh, the lecture on the YouTube. Why? Because there's not many, there are not many professors who can teach like him. And even with the, uh, some of the professors who teaches like him, then what happens? If you watch this uh, lecture, his lecture, then you will probably notice one thing very unusual. For him, he doesn't teach, okay, theory, let me write it here, theory, A theory, B theory, C theory, and then list it, and then he doesn't teach A is like this, B is like this, C is like this. He doesn't do it. He only grabs one concept and then ask a student to debate based on it so that they can actually develop the critical thinking. So debate is the way to develop critical thinking. But problem with the debating is that you can <clears throat> debate with the people on the same level, but you cannot really <clears throat> deal with the people who are higher up. So in a presidential uh, debate, well, you don't send the secretary to debate with the, the candidate out there, right? <clears throat> Something like that. So basically, well, that's, uh, uh, you have to watch the debate uh, video that I uploaded before, about a year ago. Now, in terms of his class, one class, he spends just uh, debating. That means for the students, they don't have a chance to learn all these theories. <clears throat> they only get one theory and debate each other. Then some might think, especially if you are a uh, student that who didn't really <clears throat> get into the, uh, uh, who are, have been really not developing the, uh, uh, the, or the developing, or you, you don't have any the real depth viewpoints inside of the education, some might say, what the professor doesn't teach anything. He doesn't teach A is this, B is this, C is this. The professor just simply asks a student to do debate. What is that class is for? You will literally see some of the students like this, especially when students are not familiar with what is the education, the focus of the education. The reason that I know is because I tested his uh, uh, method in my teaching. I taught at the University of Canada West, where uh, University of Canada West, UCW, this is uh, where in the downtown in Vancouver, small uh, private university, and then this is the university that teaching focused. And I literally tested his method, and then, you know, the, the couple of terms, and then two terms, I think, then you know what I get? About 70%, because I actually, the I am, I'm the only one who can teach the, the study method. Okay. So how to deal with the topics and how to build critical thinking processes or the logical thinking. This is what I do. And that's, uh, that's the uh, uh, education program that I provide online for now. Right. So education program for now that I'm planning only Korean uh, classes for now, but later I will probably open up for the uh, English too. But anyway. With this, uh, the, the study method that I taught, but uh, before the, the, I tested the various of uh, uh, the study uh, teaching method. So now the, I'm only, because of university, I cannot only focus on study method. I have to add some knowledge because that's what the uh, university uh, asks for. So basically I had to mix up a little bit, but once, couple of terms, I tested the Michael Sandel's approaches, make a student to the debate. The first thing, I got the response that I got after the term, about 60 or 70 percent of the students says, well, this is great, I learned a lot. And some students, they really learned because 
the for the uh, study method, meaning that students have to use it to study. That means students have to study. Is the they don't if uh, the but some of the students who are really accustomed uh, to the traditional method, what they want is okay A theory, B theory, and then C theory, and then list it. And they just simply jot down the uh, uh, the contents and then memorize it and test it. Take a test and get the score that they want. This is some of the students kind of uh, thinking. And because of that, for them, because this, uh, they, in this way, it's actually, this way is easier to study, right? You just uh, sit there, you spend about a couple of hours, and then you wrote down the, uh, summarize them, and then you save it, and then in the future, before the test, you study it, memorize it, and then it takes less time. But in my case, when it is mixed with the, uh, the study methods, then students had to study with the uh, uh, lecture material every single class and every single uh, they have to come back with the, uh, some of the study that they went through. And then inside the class, they have to study too. But before that uh, goes on, I tested Michael Sandel's uh, approach, which is debate. And then, well, students were not able to really debate because the, the UCW quality is not as high as other universities. And then uh, students who are coming with a lower uh, high school grade compared to other universities. And, uh, the, and then because of that, the, they are really uh, not able to engage in the uh, uh, debate. But more, you know, the, the, my focus is that when I taught in that way, because I was the leading the, uh, the kind of class, and then I asked them to really think logically, and then uh, dealing with, uh, I didn't focus on one. I dealing with like about uh, five or six different topics. And then later students says, what is this? I didn't learn much because and then this professor doesn't even teach much. And that professor shouldn't be in there too. This is what students respond. About 10 to 20% of the students like that. The reason is because if this is a test, and then if they learn this, then they probably get higher score. But in this case, if they don't study, and then if they didn't engage and they didn't think, they don't get the score. So their score is lower. So they complain a lot. But about 60 or 70% says, this is great. This is uh, uh, really useful and I learned a lot or something like that. But 10 to 20% of students, you know that they speak out loud. Okay. So they, these students are going outside and then complain a lot of the, uh, about me a lot in uh, public because they didn't get higher score and then because they uh, uh, work, uh, they had to work, but they didn't want to work. And then that a lot of conflicts in there. Now, anyway, that's the uh, uh, situation that, that happens in the teaching focus the university when I try the uh, Michael Sanders approach. That means to have this Michael Sanders approach work, then it has to be somewhere like a higher uh, rank the university, like a uh, the Harvard or UBC or the NYU or SFU or something like that. And more, that means that the university that I taught, the UCW, teaching oriented, teaching focus, is not different from the secondary uh, school because they probably, uh, many of the uh, uh, professors probably focusing on, this is actually what I heard from their, uh, the, well, secondary, I should say college level, because what they say is that they want to focus on skills and knowledge that going to need for the future jobs. And actually UCW is, uh, has AA program, Associate Art program, which is college level. So basically they are actually getting more students because of uh, they are providing college level education. So, 
and then they also have the full uh, university level education because it is a university but this education is kind of like a fading uh, well when I was there it's not really going well most of the students are from AA so basically UCW is named as a university but this is more likely college level and then education quality is college level so if you are but the think about if you are a student and a high school student or one looking for the uh, university uh, college level then think about which level which uh, colleges you want to look for because UCW associate art well if, even if it is focused on the jobs I don't think they are as successful as uh, other colleges like uh, BCIT or uh, or the Douglas College or something like that well I don't know in the future for now because I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna teach there anymore so I'm uh, kind of like breaking up from the UCW the, at this moment and then I'm focusing on my own teachings in uh, from in the future so basically you have to if you are looking for a university education then well I will probably make a one video that actually how to maximize learning at the university level in the future but you have to decide which one you want to have if you wanted to have the actual skills and the knowledge for the jobs then probably BCIT and Douglas College something like this are better choice right and then I saw many students who uh, uh, went to UBC and SFU but still they didn't finish it they transferred to this and to uh, to get more to secure their jobs in the future right and some of the university graduates uh, the graduate student, uh, university graduates like a U uh, UBC or the SFU they after the graduate uh, the their uh, after they finish their uh, the learning many of them didn't know where to where to go what to do and then they apply for the jobs that they are not related to the uh, their learning and then some many of them not just some I uh, met a few and then most of them were kind of thinking about the options going back to BCIT or Douglas College to get the training and then to get a job and well literally to be honest that from my viewpoint I don't uh, I don't suggest that the uh, university level education which is uh, teaching only focused either the job based knowledge and uh, skills or something or university level and then I'll as I said that I will probably uh, upload one of the uh, video that how to maximize your university education and uh, and something like that because uh, teaching oriented universities well you might get if it, you are looking for something bridging from immigration so from a uh, different country coming into the uh, Canada and then bridging to the uh, getting a to future you're looking for the future as a uh, in the Canada probably uh, to bridge that uh, as a bridge from your uh, immigration uh, kind of like a tools to immigration then probably that's one of the choices but to for the actual development of the critical thinking and the logical thinking uh, I wouldn't suggest this uh, teaching oriented university unless you know there's someone like uh, uh, Michael Sandel or for the, in my case uh, the, the I was there so for now now the I'm not teaching there so basically if I was there for the time that I was there then you probably learning but the developing the uh, brain power but not others as I said the interior world even in the Harvard there's no uh, professors can teach how to think they can evaluate they can test provide the test that based on the uh, uh, the some thinking processes but uh, and then well actually Michael Sandler I admit that he's teaching critical thinking 
yeah so he's the one and then only a few are able to do it but for me like uh, there's no professors who can teach beyond the critical thinking because beyond critical thinking there's creative thinking and then there's another level of the thinking in the in the, the each of the uh, human brain uh, has it already built in okay so uh, I will stop uh, this uh, story here and then in the future I will come back with uh, the how to maximize your university education with the video and then I will try to upload as regularly as possible okay so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time bye